I've been doing code retreats, coding dojos and general technical coaching for years. And I think I know a few things about putting on a successful interactive coding session. I also know that software development teams get happier and more productive as they learn to handle technical debt and embrace practices like test-driven development. These are practical coding skills. So to get good at them, you need hands-on practice. You already have a job, and I'm guessing you don't have several hours each week for preparing developer training. The guided learning hours that I publish on this channel are designed to give you many of the benefits of a training session that you design and lead yourself without taking as much prep time. My goal is you should be able to hold such a session without my years of experience. I hope you will need less than an hour to prepare a learning hour you can do with your team. Hopefully much less, particularly if you've joined my Patreon. This video explains how it works and what's expected of you, the session coach and facilitator. Hi, I'm Emily Bates, software developer and creator of Saman Coaching. In my channel, you can find content for technical coaches and lead developers. If you like what you see, please hit subscribe and like. A learning hour is a short, hands-on training session that you do with your development team. You can learn skills like refactoring, test-driven development, design, the kinds of things modern software engineers need to know, especially if you have a lot of legacy code and technical debt. In each video, I go through some materials that I've prepared that will spark discussion and give you some hands-on experience with the relevant techniques. The tricky part, of course, is that I'm not actually present. I don't know what you said. I need somebody who is there to keep things on track, help people to understand what's going on and to make those discussions interesting. I'm going to need help from you, the coach for the session. You shouldn't need to be an expert in the topic of the learning hour. Just interested, happy to learn and do a bit of preparation. You don't have to be an experienced technical coach, just willing to do some facilitation and setup. Ultimately, these sessions should help your team to write better software together, but also be a good team building exercise. My hope is you'd run these sessions regularly, perhaps when every new video comes out. For all of these sessions, you will need an online whiteboard that everyone in your team can edit. And it's a good idea to prepare that in advance. If you subscribe to my Patreon, you can get access to a copy of the board that I've created. Otherwise, you'll need to watch the session in advance and work out what to prepare on your own. All of my guided learning hours use the 4C structure inspired by Sharon Bowman's book, Training from the Back of the Room. I recommend it. They're structured with four kinds of activities. Connect, concept, concrete practice and conclusions. We fairly consistently begin each session with a connect and end with a conclusions. But in between, there may be several concepts and concrete practice activities and not necessarily in any particular order. Knowing these names will help you to orient yourself within the online whiteboard and the guided learning hour as it happens. For the concrete practice part of the learning hour, usually we'll be doing a coding exercise. All the source code is available open source with a generous license and you can download it beforehand. There will be links in the session description. You'll need everyone in the team to be able to get the coding exercise up and running in their development environment quickly. That could mean putting it in your organization's version control repository and making sure any dependencies are downloaded. You want to make sure it will build straight away when people clone it onto their machines. At several points in the learning hour videos, I ask you to pause the video and set a timer for an activity. You can use your phone or a timer on your whiteboard, something like that. The main thing is you need to keep track of the overall session so that you can fit everything into the hour. Sometimes you might need to cut an exercise short to fit everything in. Usually you just need to save about five minutes for the conclusions at the end of the session. It's generally more important to have time for conclusions 
than it is to have five minutes longer on an exercise. At various points during the session, there are specific activities I might need your help to facilitate. Things like asking participants to come up with ideas and put them on sticky notes, or prompting a discussion about a piece of code. It might not be your core skill set, but I hope most developers can manage. You could also ask for help from a trusted Scrum Master or an Agile coach. Each guided learning hour comes with a facilitator's briefing that will go through some specifics for that particular session. Perhaps the most important job of a session coach is booking it into the team calendar and reminding people to come. Because I'm pretty sure the session will be more fun if your team actually turns up. Take a look at the guided learning hours already available on the channel. The facilitator's briefing is usually towards the end and watching it will help you know what you need to prepare for that session. If you subscribe to my Patreon, you can also get additional materials. Then you need to book a date and time in your team calendar. And when everyone is gathered, either in person or remotely, you put the video up on a screen where everyone can see it and let me guide you through it. During the session, you are taking the role of technical coach. Could be a good move for your career. Hopefully a really good move for your team. I think you should give it a go. There are some links in the show notes to some good learning hours to begin with. Happy coding.